Their families in limbo, angry and confused after their homes were flooded. They need support now, but it's not easy to get. A community in the middle of a flood crisis, but side by side each other through it all. It's just devastating. All my sewing and all my stuff that I love, it's, it's all gone. As they come to terms with the damage and disruption to their lives and their homes. We're like a big yay family up here. The mud, the smell and the loss, compounded by the great unknown. We don't know where we're going to live. Roland Branch and his wife of 30 years, Roslyn, call a cabin in Ye's Riverside Caravan Park home, one and a half hours outside Melbourne. The park was swamped by water. The height that it got to um, was incredible. It, it just wasn't a natural disaster, it was a horrible disaster. The couple say they were given just 30 minutes notice to evacuate and didn't have time to save their prized belongings. We were told half an hour, 10 minutes, and we had to move. She'll be right. At least we did the right thing. All right? Yeah, all right. All my jewellery and, and all the stuff I got from my mum years ago, that, they were all in there and, you know, I've lost them all. At 70 and 67 years old, Roslyn and Roland's future has literally been washed away. Thanks to the local op shop, they have some clothes to wear. Oh, look at that. That fits lovely. And have moved into the Yay Motel. It's safe and dry, but doesn't have a kitchen. They're both certain they'll be eating microwave meals for months to come. In our little motel room where we yeah. can't cook. We just have to have microwave meals and things like that. Their son Justin is in the same boat, as are nine others from the caravan park, now living 24-7 at the local motel. I've literally walked through and just realised there is nothing left there for me. Helen Wheeler, one of many residents, arriving at the park with gumboots in hand, expecting to find the worst. We're allowed in today to... Um just see the damage, but we think you'll be all right. No, we think, they, they, we think it's a rider. Yeah. But anyhow, that's what we're here to do. Have a look, get our photos, our personal items. The Yay River connects to the Goulburn River, flooding reaching as high as many have ever seen it. The entire region was heavily saturated and sadly there's more rain to come. I, I took a step in, there's water, water up to my ankles still. Bracing for 15 to 30 millimetres of rain to fall later this week, this exhausted family is yet to start the big clean-up or even salvage what's left after looters were reported going door to door in the area. Oh, violated. Yeah, it nearly makes you cry that someone would do that. You know. After you've lost everything. We have now have 14,729 applications that have been made and we're working as hard as we can to have those paid out as fast as possible. Victorian Premier Dan Andrews has outlined the various support payments, but it's left families confused over who's entitled to what. We just want a fair go, a fair go for everybody. This is... This is not right. Everyone should be entitled to that money. They need it. You've got pensioners out there that can't afford anything. You know, you don't know what, what mm. you're going to get and how much you're going to get and who off. The couple applied for assistance payments to help them get through this rough period, but they're not entitled to all of what's on offer because of where they live. The payments are very confusing. They're telling us, no, we're not going to get it, but yes, the other people in different shires are going to get it, and we're not allowed it, and it, it's totally confusing. Victorians affected by the floods could be eligible for three different government payouts. The federal government's disaster recovery is a one-off $1,000 payment for adults and $400 for children. It's only available for those in five council areas. The disaster recovery allowance, another federal payment, is there to assist businesses, offering weekly payments for three months, equal to JobKeeper. It's available 
all in 23 council areas. And lastly, there's the emergency relief payment thanks to the Victorian State Government. It's a one-off payment of $580 per adult and $290 per child. The Emergency Re-Establishment Assistance Fund uh, also provides support of up to $42,250 for families uh, whose properties have been hardest hit. The Branch family has been approved for $580 each, but they don't know when that money will arrive. If this rain comes like they're predicting and it floods again, I literally will not be able to come back to a place to live. I will literally be at the mercy of my mates and how long they're going to put up with me. Well, there's good news for Roslyn and Rowland. Late today, the federal government added Murrindindi as well as nine more local government areas to the disaster recovery payment.